their flowering spray growing out of its chest full of magic and healing she is a flowering spade as she moves and she sways you can see that she feels it so i have done a lot of various approaches and techniques in art making mark making and in making art and i constantly come back to painting Sometimes painting is very elusive and I have to step away from it. And other times there's just nothing else that will do. There are words, there are signs. Close your eyes, there is magic inside you. Hey. The process of encaustic painting is very alchemical and very um, physical. It's a lot like being in a laboratory. It's very hard to control. Uh, it does slip into a pool of molten wax often, and um, it's very challenging. Perhaps that's why it's kept my interest this long. Having it be a little bit different every time and wondering why. My work is primarily inspired by the natural world. My work has always been very energetic. Energetic mark making is the essence behind my work. Encaustic painting is a beeswax medium that's melted. It's basically a combination of pigments and beeswax. It's melted and produces a very fine, fluid, hot paint it's applied to a surface. Very ethereal, beautiful surface quality. Has the ability to maintain texture and has a sculptability to it. It's one of the oldest forms of painting dating back to the ancient Greeks and Egyptians. The the tactile nature of wax is, is huge and it's got a, a, a lovely weight to it. It has the ability to encapsulate patterns and you can actually print into it and remove and you can do relief and you can do embossing and engraving and you can lay down things and have them completely covered over. Watching so many new medias come out, multimedia, you know, all kinds of really fascinating and great forms of new art and the whole while it's like how can two-dimensional painting exist coexist or compete isn't exactly the right word although it is a kind of a way of competing um, and that question has driven a lot of the things that I'm doing with my painting these days working with reflective materials and having uh, elements other than just simply paint on the canvas Reflective materials bring really interesting interactivity to the paintings. I find in the studio I'm always trying to push something, always pushing something different. But in the end, it's all about the energy that comes through my hand and the marks that my hand makes on the surface. And for that, I'm grateful because that's what makes my work unique. <laughs>